Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Vapo, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make fraps uh, videos into smaller file sizes. Now, as you know, when you record with fraps, your video size is usually absolutely ginormous. You might have about two to three minutes, depending on your resolution. If you're at uh, 1920 by 1080 then you might have under two minutes of video in every four gig file size. Now obviously that's not convenient for uploading because you will be there all day long. So I decided to um, pass on a, um, a tutorial which I heard, which I learned from Vicious XUSMC, who I will credit to at the bottom of the video. Um, that um, it's absolutely a great guide. It literally reduces your file size dramatically while keeping the most quality possible out of it. Now, if you're like me, you want to cut down the quality even more, and um, the video quality might be lower, but it'll be easier to upload because my internet is absolutely shit. So, firstly, I'm going to go through the things that you need to install um, before starting this. Firstly, you want to have Fraps or whatever video encoding you are using. I use Fraps because it is not expensive and it gives the best results. Um, secondly, you need MEGUI, which I is here. By the way, all these are the programs you need to run this um, this tutorial. So take note, and the link will be below. The um, MEGUI is a program which combines a lot of other s smaller programs for uh, video rendering, rendering, sound editing, all this kind of stuff, and it just brings them all together into one neat little program, which I will show you how to use later. Uh, the third one is you need Vegas or any other video encoding which can use Lagarith lossless codec. This is Lagarith. Um, you want to have this basically. I'll show you. I'll give the links obviously to all the download locations for all these. So um, let's get started. Obviously, f uh, the way I do this is I record a video. The second, then after recording it, obviously I'm going to have a load of separate parts which are 4 gigs large or 3.9 or whatever. Secondly, I will put them all into Vegas, do my video editing, all I need to do to it, put in the intro, the outro, all this kind of stuff. Uh, rendering, render that out into the Lagarit lossless codec, and then from that, I will use that one big fo file that I get, and I will render it out with MEGY, which will also compress it absolutely significantly while not losing too much quality. Now, obviously, my videos have slightly less quality because I do compress them even more because my internet is very bad but um, let's just get straight into it first actually I'm, I'm gonna show you you need to just install these uh, I'll explain briefly what they are AVI Synth is a script creator for MEGY FFD Show is a video and audio encoder which uh, is used in MEGY again Lagarith is a lossless codec which still takes up quite a bit less space than Fraps uh, Fraps if you have say if you're recording two minutes of video and that's four gigabytes on your hard drive Lagarith will reduce that to maybe three gigabytes depending on the video size if you're recording your desktop which takes much less space um, it'll actually reduce it so significantly that it'll uh, when I tested this the first time it, it uh, reduced the video size by tr uh, four fifths so it was 20 percent the original size of that it was and it was the exact same quality now, then we have MEGUI. You want to install this anywhere. Um, I have mine in just C, and you have MEGUI here. And just extract all those files. You then turn on MEGUI because um, it needs to upgrade, or not upgrade, update all the files because um, it's like a, a collection of all different smaller programs and it automatically updates them. And then I believe the last one is Nero AAC codec. Um, this might be the last, latest version, might not be, depending on when you're reading this video or watching this video. Sorry. And the place you need to put this, to re otherwise, I mean, without this, you you get an error which doesn't let you use MEGUI properly. So um, you actually go to your MEGUI, you open it up. I'll open it now quickly. And you go to your options, you go to settings and then you press external program settings and this is where you need to have it this place right here unless you want to spe uh, extract it somewhere else and specify the location so for me it's MEGUI tools this is the default location by the way then EAC3 to 2 
then Nero AC and these are the three files that you need to extract now the place you get these is obviously inside that RAR that you download um, you don't need these at all you might want to read this if you want all this license stuff uh, the reason MEGUI could not include this is because of copyright issues um, they could include all the other ones but not this if you're using Linux you do that you get them from here or if you're on Windows like me you get them from here so you know again options settings and here near AAC encoder location that's which what tells you where you need to put these so now that we have that sorted actually I'm gonna open MEGUI again because I will need it again later and minimize it so let's get straight into it uh, I have Vegas open right here uh, yours might look differently or whatever uh, video editing software you're using the only thing is that it has to support laggard lossless codec so I'm gonna actually pick my current video which I have for testing on this raw recordings I am recording at the moment as you can see here I know it's quite a lot of space but um you do all your video editing, editing whatever you want to do to it. Uh, I'm only going to do this short uh, seven, seven second video, yes, seven, uh, and I'm going to render it out. So the way you do, with, if you're using Vegas, this is Vegas 10, you render as, and I usually render mine to here so it's going to look like this, but uh, the template, well firstly you want to whatever name it, so I'll just use this as a test one. Uh, save as file type videos video for Windows and then here you want to use uh, well actually you just press custom to be honest because you won't have this originally this is just a, a template which I saved the Lagrith one you'll want to probably do this video is at it that's not the right video act not the right size actually uh, I'll have to change that um, so you pick uh, even this HD 1920 by 1080 obviously you want to change the frame rate to whatever you recorded at this is a frap so this is 29.970 uh, field order non progressive scan progressive is remember that name you'll see that in a minute uh, and then video format you want to do laggard lossless codec so obviously you need to install the lossless codec before you do this and obviously restart your Sony Vegas after you pick that you click configure you enable null frames, you don't enable this, and you enable use multi-threading. This you keep off. Mode by default will be on RGB. You want to make it to YV12. And you click OK. And save this as well. Now actually I didn't change the video uh, format, cause, so I'm going to just do this first. I have a pre-made template there. So as you can see this is 1920 by 1080 now. Uh, this you actually do this in the new when you when you create a new one you say you pick the size of your uh, video project so when you get to this stage you render as so I type this in again test one I have my lagrith uh, by the way when you create all these settings I actually forgot to um, go to audio you include video PCM uncompressed you don't want to use the other ones I haven't really tested them that much uncompressed is probably going to completely eat your hard drive uh, 48,000 uh, hertz sample rate and project you always want to use video rendering quality best that'll uh, make the best video quality obviously as the name suggests uh, interleaving you might want to keep that on I've had problems without having it on and you definitely want to keep this on otherwise you can only make like a two minute video or some problem comes up which doesn't let me render out properly so you click OK and obviously you actually you want to save this as well to whatever like I have it saved as Lagrith because I know that's that's my general um, codec to encode at and you just save the file it, this one will take very short because obviously it's a seven second video it'll take, take three seconds to render out which as you can see is done and with Sony Vegas you are now officially done obviously you're gonna do whatever you wanna do with your video like all this cutting and shortening or editing your video but I'm not gonna do that right now so I'm gonna leave Sony Vegas now um, so as you can see, I now have, I'm oh, sorry, this is not it, E, process recordings. This is the video that I just made. So uh, just to show you the file size, 465 megabyte compared to the original uh, test file. This was 27.3 megabytes. So as you can see, when you're recording from your Windows, your desktop, it's already cutting the file size by over 75%. Uh, well, actually around... 
whatever, 80%. Um, so you have this video now. You open up your MEGUI. This uh, gets a bit complicated. I'm actually doing this a second time because I had some problem with the video recording earlier on on Windows. So um, first thing you want to see is you have the video encoding and you have the audio encoding. First thing you want to do is tools and AVS script creator. This is the AVS uh, AVI synth script creator which we installed earlier on which the link is for below in case you forgot you might want to go back and do this first before you open up MEGY um, so AVS script cre uh, creator and that brings up this video or this window you put in your video input the video input for this is going to be that video which we rendered out the first time in Lagarith so you open that it's gonna bring up this little window here uh, I'm not sure what these I haven't been able to use them properly but you might some people might be able to use the one click encoder I prefer to not do that I use AVI source as uh, some people might have direct show here or one other different type of thing but basically what you want to have is this window popping up this is a preview of the actual um, preview of the video so as you can see it'll have all the, the full video which you can preview and check that everything is okay um, then you go to filters after you close that preview thing you go to filters see you have the input DAR um, there's different uh, kind of things you have here so uh, 1920 by 1080 is 1.778 it'll automatically do this for you you can crop it you can resize it um, obviously if you crop it it'll actually only uh, cut the video but if you resize it it'll keep all the stuff in the video but just make it smaller um, filters uh, source type you might remember the word progressive this is where you pick progressive and uh, noise filter minimal minimal um, this is to do with video not to do with sound so I usually do minimal and that does just fine uh, make sure your FPS is the FPS that you record at and that you rendered lagarith lossless codec in so you click save that'll bring all the files here as you can see in my process recordings the script is now made so um, then after, before you press Q you don't do that yet you make sure the file format is MKV you can do it in MP4 as well or whatever that is um, but MKV seems to be the smallest file best quality and YouTube accepts it pretty well then you go to your encoder settings uh, as you can see I have some presets here 20 quality 23 quality and 25 quality um, the less quality the actual better quality it is it's just how it works with this but you click config uh, when you open this up it's gonna look like this you're not you're only gonna have two things here but you want to click the show advanced settings and this will bring up quite a lot more here as you can see there's the average bit rate um, this is if you want to set a, a specific bit rate so as you can see um, you'd want to have about 10,000 or more if you're using this to have a decent quality constant quantizer I really don't know what that means uh, apparently the guy that showed me this uses uh, this mode but I don't like it I prefer the uh, constant quality the multiple pass um, uh, render encoding modes are always gonna take longer the first is gonna take about as long as one one of the average bitrate or constant quality but the second and third are gonna just be extra time so I use constant quality now I'm gonna show you here see in the bottom of this little pop-up thing it says recommended the range 18 to 26 is probably where you will have one to look at if you need absolutely perfect quality you could go down to 16 but it's probably not worth it and so it isn't because that will absolutely just be too big file size for no reason around 19 to 21.5 is where the rip will look very good right so um 20 quality is probably as high as I'd recommend going because that'll give you a decent file size while having absolutely crisp clear quality. I use um, 23 if I'm uploading from college or 22 depending on the video and 25 if I'm uploading from home because I have to cut down a lot of quality in order to upload sufficiently without taking a whole day to upload. Uh, the preset you want to have this on slow because uh, the slower it is the better quality it'll give you. You want to you might want to do it on placebo if you have like an i7 3960k or something but that trust me if you have a 30 minute um, video encoding in placebo you will actually be uploaded uh, encoding for about 24 hours you don't want to have that if you have it on fair, fast or all those uh, it'll obviously reduce quality and take more space up 
So you want to have it on slow or slower, uh, depending on what you prefer and how fast your processor is. Uh, I'm at 4.2 gigahertz. Oh, sorry. And um, then you want to save this. So you create a new, a new one. You type in the name and you press OK. I actually have a few presets. This is constant quality 20 quality. So constant quality 23 quality and constant quality 25 quality. Now I'm going to say again, the lower the quality here, the higher the quality of the video. So remember that. If you go up to about 26 or 27 or 28, the video quality is going to be absolutely, it's not going to be horrible, but it's going to be much worse than it is at 20. But if you have it at 16, it'll just be absolutely perfectly clear, but it will take more space, obviously. So you click OK. This is this part done. I'm going to up, uh, render this in 20 quality because I want it to be as clear as possible. And I'm going to queue that up. Second thing you want to do is the audio. Because this takes away the, the audio, you only have the video here. You have to put audio input and you pick the same file. Um, this is the processed Lagerith file because the other ones normally will be split into different sections if it's a long video. This was obviously only 7 seconds. So you click this. Uh, output file you want to have it the same as this. Um, the encoder settings you want to have this whichever one you prefer. Some people like to stay with MP3, but um, Nero AAC is actually better quality for less uh, bit rate. So 130 kilobyte Nero AAC will probably be like 256 MP3. So I like to do it like this. You can obviously configure it and set whatever bit rate you want it to be. The higher, the more space it'll take. Obviously, the extension is M4A or you could use this as well if you prefer. I use M4A and you queue that up as well. So here actually this was the previous failed recording so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna delete those. You have these two waiting. This is the video and the audio. So this is only gonna take a few seconds because these, this is a very very short video but as you can see it'll open up a, vi a window and it does it very fast. Now as you can see these files are now made here. The last step that you want to do is tools Moxer and MKV Moxer. If you use MP4 as your video extension, you use this one. If you used MKV like I did, you use MKV Moxer. Then this brings up this window, video input. You pick this one. This is the MKV file, the one that you just rendered out with MEGUI. You don't pick the original one because, as you can see, this is 4.65 megabytes and this is at 268 kilobytes, which is the exact same quality. So you open that. <laughs> Excuse me, talking loud for so long is uh, a bit harsh on the voice. So uh, then you pick the audio file, which is the same one. You would prefer, preferably want to have these as the same name if you're uh, rendering multiple things at once. If there's some delay problems, you can set the delay here. You can use minus one or whatever. I think it's in seconds. Uh, minus is zero because my, my thing should be synced up perfectly. And the, the mux output, you want to pick whatever you want. Mux just means that it's uh, put together. Uh, uh, putting together a video and sound moxed means that it's already been done so I'll put that mine in ready to upload so save um, and queue it up so you have the third job here this is the mox and you start it up this takes much shorter this usually only takes like two or three seconds the, uh, on long video uh, I'll go back here ready to upload and as you can see I have my video file done now I'm gonna compare the original with this so raw recording test. Hello, As you can see. this is Vapo, and I'm back very clear. In StarCraft 2, so let's get straight into it. Very clear, right? Now let's go back to. Whoops, sorry. Wrong button. Go back to E, ready to upload, and let's test this. Hello, everyone. This is Vapo, and I'm back with more it's StarCraft 2, louder. so let's get straight into it. As you can see, it's a bit louder as well, but um. There was absolutely, there's almost no difference in quality there, but you saw that uh, at how dramatically the file size changed from 27 megabyte to 359 kilobytes. So there's a big difference there, no difference in quality, especially at 20 quality. Um, if you prefer to upload short videos at like 4 gigabytes per 2 minutes, then you can do it that way. If you like this tutorial, then please press the thumbs up button. And do make sure you get everything perfect because uh, after doing it two or three times, struggling with it, uh, you do really kind of go on auto mode and autopilot through the whole thing. It's very fast. I, it takes me about 10 minutes to 
well less, it takes me about two minutes to put together all the files, rendering it out the first time. Obviously rendering out takes longer because it's a longer video. So um, you're rendering out once, you're rendering out the second time, which also compresses it the second time. And then you put the files together, or the sound and the video. And that's it. It is an advanced tutorial. Um, it is created by Vicious XUSMC, who I, I am going to credit because that guy is my mentor. He absolutely helped me out with this great, um, very helpful guy. And I have a lot of respect for the guy just purely because because of him I'm able to make these videos for you guys. So I just wanted to share the love with a bit of a tutorial. So um, if you like the video, press the like button. Check out Vicious X U S M C. You might want to search that on YouTube. He does uh, gameplay commentaries. He does um, dual commentaries. He does guides, reviews, all this kind of stuff. He has his own website, and he's a great guy all around. So. Um, Press the like button, credit goes to Vicious, of course, and I don't know if I can take credit for sharing this with you guys, so you can uh, make your own videos, join the YouTube community, and thanks for watching everyone, I'm Vapo, and I'm out.